The Oklahoma Indian Missionary Conference is excited about the continuation of our newest church starts. Several of these new fellowships are the results of collaboration with the Oklahoma Annual Conference ranging from rural, small town, and urban settings. Because of its limited funding, the conference has been creative with these appointments. Leadership ranges from part-time local pastors to ordained elders serving in leadership. Reverend David Dunson, a member of the Muscogee Creek Nation, is in his third year as a part-time local pastor at the Wilitka Indian Fellowship at Wilitka, Oklahoma. The conference assumed the church after it closed in 2015. Reverend Dunson is having a great time at the church and has been able to partner with the community and the tribe to reach into the community. Over the past two years, Reverend Dunson has worked to include and engage young people from the community into the life of the church. Young people meet each week for various programs, including the teaching of tribal language through Muscogee Creek hymns. The church is also engaged with an anti-bullying campaign in the community, along with the local schools. The elders are enjoying the use of the facility also, which is centrally located where they can participate in worship and also activities such as games and tribal singing. Another church that was acquired through the Oklahoma Annual Conference is the All Nations United Methodist Fellowship at Commerce, Oklahoma. The church closed in 2014, located across the street from an elementary school, and in the center of the community, the church is only four miles from the city of Miami, Oklahoma. Reverend David Little of the Muscogee Creek Nation served as full-time local pastor for the past three years. David and his wife Judy have done a remarkable job of reaching out to nine various tribes that are located within 30 miles of the church. The church sits in the boundaries of the Quapaw tribe of Oklahoma. OMC has not had a presence in the area since the formation of the Wyandotte Indian Boarding School that was created not long after tribes were removed from the homelands to the area. Services are held each week and include folk of all ages. The couple is faced with the great challenge of incorporating worship for the diversity of the nine tribes that are in that area. One of the commonalities is the need to reach out to young people. Reverend Little is working on ways to utilize the church as a gathering point for classes related to the tribal cultures, including hymns and for creating healthy activities for the youth in the community. The North Oklahoma City Native American Fellowship began over 10 years ago in the home of the conference superintendent who reached out to persons who were not attending other churches. They quickly outgrew their space and were invited to use space at the former Leland Clegg United Methodist Church, which is now Mosaic United Methodist Church. After Mosaic was formed and began using the chapel space at Oklahoma City University on Sunday mornings, they were able to use the sanctuary space at Mosaic for Sunday morning worship. Conference Superintendent Reverend David Wilson is currently providing leadership for the fellowship, along with Reverend Donna Pewo, church and community worker at Clinton, Oklahoma. Services continue on Sunday mornings as well as a third Wednesday gathering that is geared for the community. One of the commonalities for all of these new fellowships is that of language. Tribal hymns are sung in most every church in OIMC, and that is even more important in an urban environment where a church can gather people from as many as 15 different tribes. The North Oklahoma City Fellowship is fortunate that they have a variety of tribal singers of all ages, including a few that are able to speak their language and interpret the meanings of various tribal hymns. The church is also very involved with tribal affairs in the Oklahoma City area and support entities such as neighborhood service organization and tribal entities. The fellowship collected and purchased items for 700 Christmas stockings last year that were sent to the water protectors who were encamped near the Cannonball River on the Standing Rock Reservation in North Dakota. One of the special pieces of this ministry is the collaboration with the Mosaic United Methodist Church. The two churches joined together for such special observances that include Ash Wednesday, Holy Week, and other mutual events. The conference is thankful for the continued support of the local churches of the Oklahoma Annual Conference and for the collaboration that continues on many levels of the church. Reverend Jamie Moss of the Muscogee Creek Nation continues to serve the Kansas City Native American Fellowship that is currently meeting at the Kansas City Native American Center on Sunday evenings. This is the only Native ministry in the state of Missouri. We're excited about the ministry and possibilities of these new fellowships. We are thankful for the people of the Oklahoma Annual Conference for this great partnership, for the support as well to help us be in ministry in new places across the Oklahoma Indian Missionary Conference. Thank you for your continued support and for believing in what we do together.